There's no doubt that you can spot a failing person just by observing their traits. Failure and success are twins, not enemies on the same coin. When you try to escape failure, you end up avoiding success. However, this doesn't mean you linger only on the negatives without formulating ways of making your life better and hoping success will just magically appear. And sometimes you may not know that you're setting yourself up for a downfall, but by the end of this video, you'll be able to identify habits you may need to leave behind. 1. Not knowing what you want to do Failures have a hard time figuring out precisely what they want. Perhaps you decided as a child that you wanted to be an astronaut when you grew up. And as you've gotten older, you've changed your mind hundreds of times, and you're still undecided about what you want to do. It's also entirely acceptable to feel unsure. You have the rest of your life ahead of you, so you have plenty of time to consider your options. Successful people know exactly what they want to accomplish with their lives. In fact, they probably knew what they wanted to do from a young age, long before you even considered what you should be doing with yours. And they succeeded because they remained committed to their goal for long enough. Keep in mind that you may achieve success faster in some careers than others, but it does not imply that the quality of your achievements is any less, or any more remarkable. At the end of the day, choose a path that you enjoy and keep working at it. 2. Biting off more than you can chew Whether you're working on one habit or several, you try to do as much as possible with each one, so that it consumes a lot of energy and appears to be difficult. A sure way to fail is to try 30 minutes of running rather than 5 minutes, as you progress gradually. That way, it'll take up a significant portion of your day that will be postponed to the next day, and when other pressing matters arise, it'll use a significant amount of your physical and mental energy. In the end, it turns out to be something you dread doing, since it's become so difficult and overwhelming. Only tackle things one step at a time to maximize on the full potential they could become. 3. Spending time with the wrong people The people you hang out with can either push you to be your best self or bring out your worst inclinations. Do you want to lose weight or become healthier, for example? Spend time with people who will motivate you to make the changes you want to make in your life. Do you want to completely fail at that goal? A sure way to fail, spend time with people who take pride in their poor habits. People get their vitality from each other. Sometimes it's hard to let go of familiar faces due to strong bonds, but success sometimes comes with detachment from things and people who are obstacles. Before we get into the fourth habit, I'd like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. One course that I really liked in particular is Finding Fulfillment, Using Pivots to Power Your Creative Career by Emma Gannon. Emma is a best-selling author, speaker, novelist, and host of a popular podcast. If you're ready to take the wheel and live a more joy-filled life, pursuing your dreams, then you should join this class. Emma shares the power of making a creative pivot and how making a change can be the key to professional and personal fulfillment. So the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare, so you can start exploring your creativity today. 4 waiting until the very last minute. The ability to manage one's time is the difference between success and failure. Successful people are doers. They get things done and on schedule. Failures are skeptics who strive to talk the talk before they walk the walk. To be successful in life, you must learn to overcome procrastination and self-motivate yourself each day to complete your work correctly. Not only do successful individuals get things done, but they also know how to get back on their feet after a terrible day. This is equally as vital as getting things done, because you can't let a bad occurrence prevent you from getting things done daily. You can't get back the time you've squandered, but you can take precautions to avoid making the same mistakes again. It's entirely up to you. 5. Labeling yourself a loser The greatest impediment to your success is right in front of you. You identify with the very behavior that limits you when you declare yourself a failure. You offer your consent to fail and embrace the label as yourself. This provides you implicit permission to behave in a way that's deserving of the title loser, and you continue to fall short in the majority of your endeavors. Jars and cans have labels, but you don't. Consider failure as a component of your personality, rather than a separate entity. Taking a step back and looking at this portion objectively reduces self-judgment and prevents you from clobbering yourself. 
Make a friend of your failure by talking to it in the third person so that it doesn't control your decisions. According to studies, this method assists you in separating yourself from failure, allowing it to relax, and allowing the ambitious you to take control of the task. When you use this strategy, you'll realize that you have a greater ability to overcome the roadblocks to achievement that the labels throw in your way. 6. Not working with others Collaboration and learning from others are critical to success. It's vital to have your own thoughts and march to your own beat, but don't be a knucklehead. Pay attention to people who have gone before you and have had first-hand experience. They might provide you with sound advice that shifts your perspective and motivates you to achieve your objectives. Another huge part of successfully collaborating is being a good listener. You can only work together in the correct way if you can retain strong, valuable relationships in the long run, and you can only do that by listening. Everyone can give a hug, but not everyone will call to inquire about your well-being. Make the effort. Ask, listen attentively, show them care, and make it a habit to do this regularly. 7. Taking setbacks personally Do you blame it on Murphy's Law or say you're jinxed when things don't work out the way you planned? You lose your control and make yourself a victim of defeat when you personalize ordinary random events into a bad life pattern. Make a U-turn when things are heading in the wrong direction if you want to empower yourself. Shift your viewpoint to recognize that life isn't out to get you. Focus on what you can do, how you can turn an issue to your advantage for instance, how you can turn an unpleasant situation into a positive, and what can you manage or overcome in that particular situation. Success and failure go hand in hand. Moving forward entails regressing. Success is a zigzag, back and forth until you achieve your objectives. 8. The fear to even try One of the most typical reasons people fail in life is that they're frightened to try something new and risk failing. You've probably heard the expression that you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, and it's 100% true. There could be a variety of reasons why you decide not to attempt anything, but fear is a common one. We're hesitant to take a gamble and attempt the ascent. We're worried about what might happen or whether we have a chance of succeeding. Only by taking a step forward can you progress. The first step toward achievement is to overcome your fear of failing. Begin tackling your anxieties right now and take even the smallest step toward completing what you need to do. Do you recall the dream you were too afraid to pursue? It's not too late yet to give it a shot. You'll never achieve in life unless you can conquer your fear of failing. Until you get some confidence and strive for perfection in all areas of your life, your life will remain mediocre and you'll never achieve the outcomes you desire. Never pass up an opportunity to try something new. 9. Not being curious If your father was a farmer and you were a guy, you were expected to follow in his footsteps. Women had no say in what they chose to do with their lives. It was also difficult, if not impossible, to learn things outside of your own environment. Information is more accessible today than it's ever been before. Obviously, institutional constraints limit what people can achieve, but those who make use of this access to information, those who read books, ask questions, and follow their curiosity, have more power to envisage and control their futures. It's difficult to fantasize about something you haven't experienced yourself. 10. Set unreasonable standards Setting impossible to meet deadlines can hinder your progress. It's no coincidence that they're called deadlines. You can kill yourself trying to make them, and you won't be able to succeed if you're already dead. Set realistic lifelines that will allow you to gain more time, calm down, and be more productive and effective. When you use lifelines instead of deadlines, you're less likely to hear that whooshing sound as deadlines pass you by or feel terrible in the pit of your stomach because you miss them. Working smarter rather than harder is a good way to go. You'll do more, experience fewer health issues, and live longer. Ultimately, you want to live long enough to celebrate your hard work. 11. Lack of Persistence Success in any kind was never achieved by failing to attempt, and it usually happens after a series of failures. A lack of tenacity is caused by a lack of motivation. It's mental weariness, in other words. You've put a lot of effort and don't feel like you have anything left to give to your project, so you give up and slack off. Countless successes have been thrown away before reaching a breakthrough or achieving success because you ran out of steam at the most vital moment. When you're mentally exhausted, it's usually just before you achieve success. The darkest hour is just before the dawn, they say. However, because you leave, you never know. It's critical to have solid core beliefs and mental abilities to succeed. It's critical to maintain the brain and heart in sync when thinking and acting. 12. Making excuses There will always be a reason why it can't be done. People constantly explain why they couldn't, shouldn't, didn't, or simply wouldn't do something. When you make excuses, you're simply admitting that you're not in control. But guess what? You're the only person who's fully in control of your actions and decisions in the world. Making excuses robs you of your personal power. 
People make excuses because of the fear of the unknown. Others are just afraid of change, rejection, and embarrassment. Fear locks you in your comfort zone, and nothing magical or remarkable happens in your safe zone. You can stop making excuses if you learn how to eliminate all traces of fear from your life. The next time you experience a setback, don't make an excuse. See it as a challenge, learn from it, and move on. Excuses are distractions, and they reduce your confidence and self-belief. You don't want that, especially when you still have a lot to show the world. By making a conscious decision to stop practicing any of these habits right now, you'll find that as you drop them, your failures either fade away or lead you to success. Failure is unmistakably a ruse, and it's you who's the main suspect. Now get out there, break these bad habits, and pursue each and every one of your wildest dreams. The most surefire way to succeed, as Thomas Edison famously said, is to try just one more time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. With that said, have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.